Hello and welcome to Google Earth. Today I'm going to take you through some of the basic uh, tools and features of Google Earth to get you started flying around and finding a bunch of cool locations. So, first off, we have our main view of the globe here. And if you simply click and hold on the globe, uh, you have a little hand that now you can drag the world around with. And you can spin the globe around, position it in various um, perspectives, north, south, or you can flip it upside down. All sorts of things you can do with it. Now, once you get to a point where you want to zoom in on a certain location, let's say we want to zoom in on the Hawaiian Islands here, we can either use our scroll wheel on our mouse and simply scroll up to zoom in or scroll down to zoom out. If your mouse doesn't have a scroll wheel, uh, no worries. You can use the zoom tool over here on the right hand side. You can either push the plus button to zoom in, the minus button to zoom out, or drag the slider up and down. The hand tool right here on the right hand side does what clicking and dragging on the globe does. It rotates the, the world up and down, left and right. And the top tool here is the orientation and view angle tool. So if we grab that little N signifying north, we can drag it around the circle, turning the globe upside down or right side up. And if we zoom in a little closer, we can get a better idea of this view angle. The center of this tool has a little image of an eyeball, and if you push up on this tool, the camera angle tilts, so now you're looking at a different angle at the world. And if we zoom in, we can see that we're no longer at a top-down viewing angle, we're more of a 45 degree angle, and if you keep pushing up on that eyeball icon, you can get parallel with the ground and make it appear as you're flying over the earth. Now to get back to your bird's eye perspective, you can simply hold on the down arrow on the eyeball tool or click and hold the U key on your keyboard. Okay, so that's how you move around the globe. Now let's talk about uh, a couple other features in Google Earth. Over here on the left hand side of the screen is a fly to option. And if you click the fly to icon here and then type in a location, for example, Monmouth, Oregon, and hit enter, Google Earth will automatically fly you to that location. And it zooms in and now we can see all of the Monmouth area within our window. Now if we wanted to fly to another location, let's say Portland, Oregon, type it in, hit enter, and it zooms us back out and back down to Portland. And now we have a list here of our recently uh, searched for locations and we can go back and forth between them. Under that is the places menu and it has a bunch of preloaded places that if we go in and check all of them or uncheck some of them, we can actually start a sightseeing tour of all of these different places. So if we check the sightseeing folder, we can now press this play button here and it will start a sightseeing tour starting with Disney World Florida here and moving through the list of places. Now we can move our own places into this sightseeing tour by simply dragging either Portland or Monmouth into the sightseeing tour and it will add those to the list. And you can add and subtract as many places from this tour as you want. And notice Google Earth will keep 
uh, flying back and forth between these and we can pause and play our tour by clicking the controls here in the bottom left of our view window. The last thing we are going to talk about in this short demonstration are layers and in our layer menu here on the left hand side of the screen we can turn on and off various um, aspects of our map for example if I turn the weather on and off you'll notice that the current conditions of this location display on the map or disappear whether that box is checked or unchecked also you can get traffic information with traffic the traffic layer checked you get little circles representing um, the flow of traffic green indicating free free moving traffic red and yellow meaning some congestion so a lot of different layers and information you can view on the map by turning these on and off and those are just some of the basics of Google Earth feel free to explore some more and get acquainted with all the features Google Earth has to offer.